Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and this time around we're going to take this model that we set up previously with sections, and then we're going to send it to layout. Yeah, so this is part two of a video series. If you missed our previous video, we set this model up with the sections and the scenes that you see here sharing some tips that are helpful for sending it to layout. Here we're gonna actually take it to layout. This is a high level overview. It's not like an in-depth into all of, you know, creating construction documents, something like that. But it will share some tips and tricks. One thing before we send it to layout, we're gonna add one more style. Now layout, you can toggle a lot of the settings on and off, but one thing that you do not have control over yet, as of this version, is turning individual sections on and off. So we need to do that through styles. Let's set that up now. Great, so our model, just to remind you, we have our floor plan set up with a, a section cut through it, this illustration view, an elevation set up kind of in a different style. We can take any one of these, and I'm just gonna take this, for example, floor plan, and duplicate this style, and I'm just gonna turn the sections off. So we have the same style, but sections turned off, and I better name that. So we have sections off, we have sections on, and with that, I'm gonna save this file and send it to layout. Now we could pick any paper title block we want. Um, we're not gonna go into title blocks or the template settings. We are just going to set up our views in a very simple fashion. So if I select our SketchUp model here, I could toggle through the different scenes that we chose. And just to start, simply, let's choose this illustration view. Now this is something that, you know, obviously if we just wanted to call out a detail or um, some of this interior furnishing, I'm gonna draw a circle and then select both the circle and the SketchUp view, right click and say, create clipping mask. And that creates this nice focused view on just these bookcases where we might call out and say, This is a bookshelf or, you know, maybe we have some different ones and we call those out. One of the nice things here, if I double click, I can go back into both the circle and change the size of our clipping mask and uh, some attributes of the model. So even though we took the time to set up this section cut that cuts just through the roof, maybe we come back and we say, you know what, let's just turn the roof assembly off. I think it's gonna look better that, that way. And then if I click away, maybe that's the view that we want. And I'll select this and add a stroke, maybe turn it up. But that's the idea, is that even though we did, did uh, cut that section through the roof to kind of see how it looked like, we could still have some options to turn it off or toggle some, you know, the bookshelf uh, bookshelves themselves on or off and so forth. Now let me create a few other pages and I'm gonna copy this on my keyboard and paste it and right click and release the clipping mask and delete this circle. Now here, if I go up to the SketchUp model and real quick, I may come in here and say, this is our elevation and this one will be our floor plan. Let's go back to our elevation and in the SketchUp model, when I select this, I'll choose the elevation view. However, when we look at this, there's a couple things. Um, our roof is missing from when we just turned it off and our section cut is not active. If I select this view, I'm gonna come up to the viewport and say reset all. And that should set it back to the settings that we had chosen for this scene. 
and there we go. Uh, again, if we look back here, we're still okay here. This just reset for this particular view. Now, I think I want to do in this one is set up a nice, um, again, clipping plane, but it'll sort of be aligned with the stairs and stuff. Now, let me select this. Let me select our view. And the first thing I want to do perhaps is set a real scale. Now, for this page, 1 16th seems like a, a good scale. That's fine. And let's get our line tool. And we're just going to draw a rough outline. We won't take the time to be very precise here. But as I start to draw this, One of the things we see right away is, oh, by default, the shape style has things like the fill on. So let me in, while I'm drawing this, I'm gonna turn the fill off. And then it may be helpful to turn this stroke um, to something bright that we can easily see while we're drawing. We'll draw it over to here. Now, again, I may take the time to snap to some of the stairs if I was trying to be more precise or take, say, a little more time, but we'll get the idea. Now, of course, if we wanted to, I could double click on this with the selection tool, um, change these nodes. That's fine. That's all well and good. I want to take this and create a clipping mask, but I'm going to copy this first. So I'm going to copy, copy this on my keyboard. You know what? Before we do that, I think, uh, I may want to actually offset this a little bit and give ourselves a little bit of space from these stairs. So let's do that. And then, like you're saying, let's take and let's select both of these. I'm going to copy this first again. Let's select both of these, create a clipping mask. And then I'm going to paste that back. And let me just move it up here so that I can see it. Um, we have our clipping mask, which is doing what I want it to do. Although the shape, I'm going to turn the stroke off. That looks better. And on this one, I'm going to use the a split tool and split it here and here, delete this and then come in and just extend this out a little bit. I want to have the same line and I will take this one, change it back to black and maybe turn it up to something like five points. And then move it back, something like that. Now we could continue to tweak this, of course, but that's just an idea of something we might do with a view like this. All right, one more, our plan, our floor plan view. So let's copy this. And of course, we could have duplicated pages from the beginning with that model in it, or we could copy a different version. Let's release the clipping mask. Now we had hid that clipping mask earlier. So if I click away and even move this to the side, it's still there. I, I, I know it's still there. So I want to delete that. Okay, this time we're going to choose our floor plan.
the scale is set up correctly because it was already assigned in the previous view. And that looks pretty good. Now, we were saying earlier, we created a different style. This was simple enough. This could be everything we need. But in the same view here, we may duplicate this page. And instead, we could this would be, let's say, the roof plan. And we don't have to move anything. We can just select this. And instead of the style, let's just change the style that we have. So. Under style, in model styles, there's our sections off. And that may be something that is really useful to be able to say, just just have a, a few different styles with sections on or off. And you could save those as default files just so that you have those for any model you create and you don't need to create them again and again. So that's a couple things, again, to look through our pages. Got our floor plan, our elevation that we set up with, uh, you know, a custom, um, <clears throat> a custom cutting uh, or clipping mask and, you know, something that may call attention in detail. Okay, so hopefully, looking at some of these options that we've done, hopefully that, that gives you some ideas of things that you can do with creating sections, creating scenes, taking them to layout. Like I said, this is a, this is a high level overview because there's so much more you can do with this type of workflow, clearly. But again, hopefully that gives you just a few ideas. If you have other suggestions, other ways that you like to use sections or something we missed here, please. Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear uh, your ideas and have that discussion. And if you have other suggestions for just things that we can show in these videos, let us know that as well. As always, do please subscribe, like, do those things. And thanks, y'all. We'll see you later.